yo, 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 it's your boy DJ Blaze, and I'm back once again with the True Hip Hop Podcast. But before we get started, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share. It helps your boy out tremendously on the algorithm. I appreciate all the love y'all been giving me, but y'all cats ain't subscribing, so hit that bell. And make sure it's all notifications, you heard me. All right, man. As we all know, T.I. said he's retiring from performing. I'm just going to roll the clip and come back with my commentary. Check it out. T.I. wants to quit the entertainment industry. T.I.'s wife gave him a super surprise. Recently, T.I. announced a shocking news in the music industry that he will no longer perform and is stepping away from show business. He claims that he no longer needs money, which sounds ridiculous. All of this is because of T.I.'s wife, Tiny. While browsing social media, Tiny accidentally found a doll from MGA Entertainment that looked exactly like her band. This surprise took Tiny by surprise. Soon after, T.I. and Tiny decided to sue a doll company. Tiny even spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to hire a top legal team. In a fierce battle, T.I. and Tiny emerged victorious. According to insiders, the company paid them $71 million. This made T.I. and Tiny ecstatic. In just one night, Tiny made T.I. a billionaire. So do you think- Hey yo, so T.I. said he's retired from performing. He tired of running around the stage sweating for the fans to make his money. <laughs> Hey, but we all know why he retiring, man. Because him and um, Tiny won that $70 million lawsuit. I'm glad they didn't let him talk, man, in the courtroom. With them big-ass words, you heard me? <laughs> but real talk, though. Um, him and Tiny won that lawsuit because they tried to copy the OMG girls with the dolls. And Tiny seen that. And she sued them. But this been going on since 2020. I think they lost the first couple of times. But this time, they finally was awarded the money. So, T.I. like, I ain't got to work again. But, you know, T.I. already got the podcast, the clothing line, the apartments in Atlanta for low-income uh, families, which is a good move. People forgot he got them apartments down there, man. And he's a, a movie star. He's been in a lot of movies. He still act. And he got artists like Young Joe coming out, you know. Whatever happened to Iggy Azalea? Remember he brought her out? <laughs> what happened to her, man? But yeah, um, I like T.I., man. He had a lot of classic albums, man, like the King album, Urban Legend, Paper Trail, Tip versus T.I.P. Uh, I think King and Paper Trail were my favorites from him. You know, but he had a lot of good music, man. But I'm glad he feel like he ain't gotta work no more to get that forty thousand a show or whatever they was paying him. But <clears throat> I think it's a good look, though. Real talk, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. About Ti retiring from performing. He said he ain't hitting that stage no more. But I don't believe him. I think artists always got that itch to perform and rap you hear what i'm saying he might not have to make any more albums but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna see him on that stage once again but y'all comment below man let me know what y'all think about this man make sure y'all stream alpha king 3 on all platforms spotify title youtube music all the streaming sites man subscribe to the channel i'm out of here one love peace <laughs>